Hey guys, so for this week's little yield video I'm going to do something uh, that I haven't really ever done before by themselves and that is these um, these kind of uh, ICs that you see here. Now you, similar looking you get you get two types of these ICs that look quite similar but they have very different levels of gold. The one type is um, flip chip which is like looks like this one here and you've got the silicon die kind of visible there once you get rid of the heat sinks on them and if I were to peel this over the only thing we would see is the solder bolts on the bottom and these contain essentially no gold for our purposes the other type looks like this one here and uh, it can look very similar to flip chip when it's sitting on the board and these things are often found on networking uh, networking boards as well but if I flip them over you can see that they've got the black blob on the bottom or the black encapsulant and the only reason they have the black encapsulant is because they have the die sitting in the middle and then they actually use gold bond wires to bond from the from the pads around the periphery into the die so um, yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing now, and I'll just show you how I go about processing these. The they come quite. So this is one. Uh, if you peel off the with a knife, I usually just peel off the heatsink. They kind of look like this on the board, and then if you flip them over, you can see some of them have quite a nice big encapsulant area. And if I hold this just right against the light for me, I can kind of see inside where the silicon die is, and that suggests to me that because the encapsulant is as big as it needs to be here that this has probably got um, some fairly decent length bond wires in it as well. So what I tend to do with these is I pull them off the boards uh, probably using a air hammer and then I essentially use just a bait knife to to remove the copper heating and I'm going to try and do this live on live on camera. We'll see how that goes. So what I essentially do is if you look at the look at it end on you can see the copper, copper heat sink and the fiberglass and, and where they meet I tend to just go in with the knife and then just work the knife all the way through them and you end up with the, you can kind of see the top of the silicon die there, you end up with the copper heat sink, you can pretty much throw that in your copper scrap bin and so what you've got now is a nice um, nice little chip minus the minus the heat sink now the other beautiful thing about these is that we can also mechanically fairly easily get rid of all of that all of the tin that usually remains so there's quite a few solar balls still on this one for instance and that's uh, fairly easily achieved by just uh, basically grabbing your cutters like that these uh, I can't remember aviation snips or tin snips I think they're called and I'll just cut away all of the worthless fiberglass and tin uh, solder balls just like that and you end up with a little block like that of uh, very concentrated gold so through the magic of TV I have here about a hundred or so of them that I've pre-prepared so I'm going to just count these and then I'll process them and I'll, I'll do a quick uh, a quick recap of how I process them once I finished and um, yeah and then we'll do some math and uh, see what the yields look like uh, in here I've got a reasonable mixture most of them come from uh, come from networking boards so I've got a reasonable mixture here so we yeah we should get a reasonable idea of what each of these black bottom chips are worth uh, in dollars on the board and that will kind of help you guys have a better idea of uh, what every board is worth Okay, I'll be back later. So what we have here are the results of the black blob chips so far. Um, I have uh, pyrolyzed the, those hundred and something ICs that I had and then I ran them for a few hours in the ball mill and then I've just used a medium sieve to separate all the very chunky stuff from all the very fine stuff. Um, so it's, it's those ones there again. And um, yeah, so quite a lot of, there's a few of them that had uh, kind of solid copper internal heat sinks. Uh, the vast majority of them though just kind of have that kind of structure there where they've got the big hole in the middle where the die was and got rid of quite a bit of copper. Um, the really interesting thing is on this side and um, as I was kind of sieving it, a lot of the 
uh, bond wires have gotten stuck in the sieve and I'll quickly show you guys this in the microscope because it's uh, it's really quite spectacular actually seeing what's going on in here and the okay guys um, so as you can see here um, fairly interesting we're starting on the boring side by the way just to uh, work you guys up to it and as you can see a fair few bond wires this is a uh, minimal max magnification if I go in a little bit and then get the uh, focus in you can see uh, nice you know pretty much everywhere we go we'll see bond wires in this stuff and that's a really really good sign means we're going to get a little bit of gold out of this just go back to maximum magnification to give you guys a scale of what's going on here so that's the boring end if I move over here to the uh, to the better side this is this is getting substantially better here see if I can do anything with the focus there you can see things are looking substantially better if I go in for a bit of magnification then you will see pretty much uh, pretty much everywhere we look we see giant dangles of bond wires and that's uh, really good sign there's a bit of copper in there like you can see in the middle but that's that's no big deal copper is fairly easy to deal with but yeah massive tangles of bond wires and then if we go right down to the other side let's just zoom out again so I can find myself this is uh, this is where the big tangles are happening and if we zoom in on this yeah you'll see a fair bit of copper in there to get rid of but um, just tangles and tangles of thousands of bond wires everywhere and so yeah at this point I'm uh, quite optimistic about the, these bottom blob processors looking at that that's uh, pretty fantastic so I'm going to uh, go wash away some of this uh, carbon and, and stuff that's still in here now so I'm just going to do a water wash on this stuff that you're looking at and um, then I will get into the wet refining and uh, or recovery and get rid of the copper and refine and drop the gold so hey guys so I've just finished the nitric wash here on this bottom blob uh, bottom black blob chip material and um, it's very nice how when if you swirl the material that's still left you can actually see the uh, the gold bond wires very clearly now it's not uh, probably as clear on the camera as what I can see but yeah looking good so I'm gonna go ahead now uh, get rid of this nitric wash water and uh, dissolve this gold so. okay guys so to dissolve this these few gold bond wires that we've got in there um, I've I've washed out the remnants of the nitric acid that I used to leach most of the copper away I've refilled this uh, with about 80 milliliters or so of concentrated hydrochloric acid the concentration doesn't matter so much whatever you can get between 20% and 38% will be fine and now I'm going to add about a milliliter or so of nitric acid to this um, this has now been heated to about 70 degrees Celsius so you want to get that to about 70 or so before you bother to add the nitric acid so got a little pipette uh, sorry just get the cap off the nitric acid there okay got a little pipette like this and we'll give it a milliliter or so and we expect to see some reaction there and uh, yep so we've got a very good reaction happening right in the center it's not quite so obvious because you guys are looking at it sideways but because I've swirled this beaker and collected most of the gold in the middle the reaction is happening in the center so now what I'll do is I'm going to keep on adding uh, nitric acid in progressively smaller amounts until I lift that beaker up and see no more uh, gold bond wires uh, collected in the center so when I give it a swirl you expect the, the gold to collect in the center in, of the beaker once I stop seeing that I know I will have the, um, all of the gold dissolved into solution and what I'll be doing then is I will um, vacuum filter uh, that solution to get it nice and clean and then I'm going to denox the solution with sulfamic acid as per my other videos uh, drop the gold out of solution and then we'll get back to the weighing and mathematics so yeah hopefully I've covered that in enough detail uh, I'll be back a bit later on hey guys so I finally finished uh, cleaning the gold from these uh, bottom blob 
uh, ICs and um, yeah I thought we'll do a quick live weigh in and I'll do some live mathematics and that way we can uh, see what these things are worth in terms of per dollar. Uh, just a very quick recap of the process for those of you who are going to learn a little bit easier for things that are in lists. So I, I took, these, um, took these ICs I removed the copper from the copper heating from the top using a just a knife to separate them. Then I used a pair of uh, aviation snips to to cut out just the black centers and basically threw away the uh, the tin coated balls around the side. So I only kept the black centers. Uh, I pyrolyzed those. Um, after which I gave them a few hours in the ball mill to get them nice and like very very well smashed up. Then I sieved them to remove any uh, large parts that basically weren't going to be breaking up and I used my sieve that has about 0.5 mm squares so you guys can work out roughly what that works out to be. Then I used water to wash all the carbon out of the out of that um, material and I ended up with, with probably about say maybe a tablespoon of two of material after I washed out the carbon. Uh, then I did a nitric acid leach primarily to remove the copper but as I found out later in the process there was actually some silver in there as well so when I when I added some hydrochloric to that nitric acid leach I got um, quite a, a reasonable amount of silver chloride uh, so there is definitely some silver there so in the future what I'll actually do is I'll, um, I'll cement on copper after this step uh, then I washed out the excess copper or silver nitrate. I'm not, I wasn't too heavy-handed here, just gave it a couple of washes. Then I used um, aqua regia to dissolve the gold and a standard uh, denox and precipitate using uh, as so a denox. I always use sulfamic acid as per my other video and precipitate with sodium metabisulfite. Uh, I let the powder settle overnight and I, then I washed the powder uh, with water, then with hydrochloric acid. So this is all boiling, boiling water, boiling hydrochloric acid, and then two more boiling water washes to, um, yeah, so ended up, and then obviously dried it out, and we ended up with a very reasonable amount of powder, considering I only worked with 117 of these, of those ICs. So what I'll do now is we'll just get the scale going, See if I can zoom in a bit so you guys can see what's happening. Obviously I haven't weighed this up at all. I am going to make a prediction which says more than one gram less than two grams, uh, which would be quite good. So let's just see what we've got. Okay, so we're just going to zero off everything that's in there at the moment. Okay, and let's get this stuff in there. Okay, so there we go, 1.26 1 grams from 117 of those, uh, of those I see, so it's actually going to be fairly easy math, uh, but I will just quickly um, get, it, get the calculator out, get it all written down, and then I'll show you guys uh, what we've got there. Okay, so some very quick math. We got uh, 1.26 grams for 117 of them, and that gives us just over 0 0.01 grams uh, per IC, and that equates, um, I work on about 50 New Zealand dollars per gram, which is a very conservative estimate, um, but that works out to be about 54 cents uh, for each of these ICs in terms of gold. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit less than I had hoped for, but it's still it's still right up there in terms of yields, much better than most other things. Uh, so yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time.